Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video for you all. Um, I just kind of wanted to sit down, have a chat and talk about a few things that some of my followers have actually asked me to talk about. So I've had a lot of questions basically you know asking how I got into makeup, why I got into makeup and kind of just a little bit about that, about my life and stuff like that. So I thought I'd pop on today and share all of that with you just so you can all get to know me a little bit more. But yeah so if you'd like to have a little nosy then stay tuned but before you start don't forget to subscribe, put a big thumbs up and leave a cheeky little comment in the comment section. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to start off with just basically starting from the beginning. So, I mean, in a few of my videos you might have heard me say that I didn't actually plan on being a makeup artist. I was actually trained to be a veterinary nurse. Um, and then it wasn't until I was about 19, 20 that I realised actually that wasn't for me. So I wanted to take a different career path. So I thought because I love makeup and I've always enjoyed, you know, playing with it and doing it on my friends and stuff. I thought why don't I just take the leap and do a course and try and build up my skills that way. So I did that anyway. Um, the whole aim of the game from the start was to do makeup on clients. So purely clients, not myself. Obviously if you see my Instagram now you would see that it's a lot of me at the moment because of the whole lockdown situation. Um, but right from the start it was to build up my client base, get really busy at the weekends and just make you all look glam. Um, I really enjoyed actually just making you all feel really good at the end of it. That was my main thing for it really. Um, and I just really like to enhance your natural beauty. It really, really does give me satisfaction. Yeah. So it was a little bit different for me really um, when I was being a makeup artist because I moved from Essex all the way up to Lancashire. Um, it was a bit of a leap. So obviously I was only young at the time, I was only 19 when I moved up north um, and then it wasn't long after that, that I trained to be a makeup artist. So for me to build up my client base it was you know quite tricky because if you can imagine I didn't actually know anyone around here, it was just me, my partner and his family. So all I had was like family friends to pass the message around which is really really hard and you know, you, you you kind of feel a little bit annoying by keep asking people to let people know that you're a makeup artist and you, you know, you want some models to work on and practice on. It was all like, you just felt a bit like a, a bit of a nuisance because you didn't want everyone to feel like they had to come to you for your makeup, but you kind of needed that experience. I don't know, it was weird. So like for the first year, I was literally just trying and trying to get clients. Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but even if I was to get my nails done, my hair, anything like that, I like to go to someone that my friend's been to, like recommendations, or if I've, you know, know that they're in the area and I haven't been to them yet, just kind of, so you sort of know that person, it kind of puts your mind at ease when you're getting a, you know, beauty treatment done. So, obviously I was trying to get the word about, I even had my own little business cards made which was with my first logo on which was looking back it was a it wasn't a good logo but at the time I was really really proud of myself so I went into town and just handed out some cards in some like you know beauty salons and any like local shops that I think some girls might go into that might want their makeup done on a night out so I was handing those around um, and I do actually remember my first message that I got from my first client this was probably like two months after I'd qualified um, or got my certificate um, and it was this lady and she wanted me to do a bridal makeup so I don't know about any other makeup artists that might be watching this but at the beginning when you first get started it is so scary when you're doing someone else's makeup especially if it's for their wedding like that is the biggest day of their life and you're in control of their makeup obviously with wedding makeup it is normally quite natural anyway so I wasn't too worried about you know the amount of makeup I was going to be doing it was more of just making that person feel really really beautiful on their wedding day so yeah I remember that lady and she was she was so so nice to me made me feel so relaxed and that's kind of where it started like it's bizarre looking back so hands my cards about and stuff then I thought right 
I need to really, really put myself out there. Even if I'm not making any money, just need to get my name about just so people know I'm here as a makeup artist. I'm new to the area. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to make friends. I wanted to meet new people. I needed clients. Obviously, if I wanted this to be my career, I needed to keep going. So then I thought, right, I'll try and get in a few salons. So where I get my hair done, I went and, um, you know, asked if I could work there, you know, and pay them kind of rent for the chair, rent for the room. So I did that for a few months and it really did help actually. Um, a lot of people did get to know that I was around and um, I did get quite a lot of clients from there. That helped me come out of my comfort zone a little bit um, because I worked on different faces, different eye shapes. Everyone wanted different looks, different styles. Some girls wanted big brows, some girls wanted natural brows. Some people wanted a full face of makeup, some people wanted just a little smidge just to really enhance their features. So, I mean, it did really help me massively and I'm grateful for that situation that I was in. However, then lockdown came around. The first one, obviously, back in March 2020. When we all had to go on complete lockdown, everyone was panicking. So then I was like, right, brilliant. So, just kind of managed to get on my feet. And now COVID wants to come and ruin it. So then I was like, right, well... What do I do? So I was just kind of sat there and I thought, well, why don't I? I think the first look I did on myself, I thought I'm going to film an IGTV and try and, you know, show people how to do it. So I did that on my phone, in my dressing room, back in my ass, in my last house. Um, and that's kind of where it took off. Back in March 2020, I was on around seven, seven to 800 followers and I was really proud of that. I was really proud of where I was going. I kind of just, I never really imagined myself starting to do makeup on myself. I always wanted to do clients and be, you know, in a salon or have my own studio, stuff like that. And then when lockdown hit, I just thought I'm going to play around my makeup and share it with my 700 followers, which I did. I did. I just thought, let's show them all and let's get creative, go out of my comfort zone, do some crazy colour looks, which I'd never done before. Some winged looks, I did some neon looks, you know, crazy looks that you wouldn't even wear out, actually. I still do to date now. But it was just nice to take that leap and step out of my comfort zone and play around with makeup and enjoy it. I was just enjoying playing with my makeup palettes that I'd purchased over the past year and just went crazy. And you know what, it was the best decision I'd made. Because here I am, at nearly 10k followers a year on. So then this year, I thought, right, I'm gonna set myself some goals because I wanna reach 10k. I wanna be noticed by big brands and big makeup artists. And I do want to build my platform and teach my followers now. Now, my mindset has changed. I learned to love makeup in a whole different way when I started practicing on myself. And the start of this year, I was like, right, let's set myself some goals. So I set myself a goal to reach 10K by the end of the year, to be noticed by big brands and big artists, to work with big brands as well, because that would be a dream. And then literally like a week or two into January, I end up being an affiliate for Beauty Bay and look fantastic. Like, it was unreal. So, like I've said in previous videos as well, I've just bought a house with my partner, so we're just waiting to get the keys, and once we've got the keys, we've got a double garage which is um, detached from the house, so I'm going to build that into my makeup studio, which I'm really excited to, you know, put into a vlog and show you all, like, what it looks like now and then what it's going to be like. So I'm going to do that, and then that's where it's going to be, like, my studio for filming um, and doing clients, so I'm really, really excited to get cracking with that. So, yeah, this is... This is me sharing with you all this crazy journey that I've been on over the past year. Um, but I'm so grateful for all my followers, all my subscribers and everything. Anyone that likes, shares, comments my stuff, it is much appreciated. And I would never have pictured myself like if this time last year I was sat at home and I thought next year I'll be on YouTube and like showing people how I do makeup like I would never have, I would never have imagined that. I think I would have cringed at that. Just kind of wanted to give you a little briefing about me 
um, and why I started doing makeup and what I'm kind of doing now. It's just, it's actually nice to look back and reflect on how things have changed and how your mindset's changed. Um, but yeah, again, thank you very much for all your support and let's see what 2021 is going to bring. Love you all.